Hi, this is Erin from MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to install any MCP presets into Lightroom and how to use Mini Quick Clicks, our free set of Lightroom presets. You can download Mini Quick Clicks on our website at mcpactions.com. Once you've downloaded your presets onto your computer, you will op want to open Lightroom and go to your Preferences menu in order to install them. On Macs, you will find Preferences under your Lightroom menu. On PCs, you'll go under the Edit menu and look for Preferences there. Once you've opened Preferences, look for the Show Lightroom Presets folder button and click on it. Once inside the Lightroom folder, you'll want to click on Develop Presets to open it, and that's where you will paste your new presets. I've downloaded my presets onto my desktop. I'm going to open a new Finder window and show you what that looks like. Now on my desktop, you'll see that I've got both the Mini Quick Clicks and the Quick Clicks collection downloaded, however they are still zipped. Whenever you download files from MCP, they do come in zipped folders. To unzip them, which you do need to do before you install, you simply right click and select open, or depending on your operating system, you might select something like extract or unzip. Once you open them, you'll see a folder that looks more like a traditional folder rather than something that has a zipper on it. To install the mini quick clicks, you simply copy and paste the folder into the develop presets folder. You can copy and paste in several ways. On a Mac, you can hold down your Alt or Option button and drag the folder into the location where you want to paste it, or you can right click on it and select copy. And then right click on the new folder and select paste. If you're on a PC, rather than holding down Alt or Option, you're going to hold down your Control button and click or drag that way. If you're installing MCP's Quick Clicks into Lightroom, you're going to want to right click, select Open, Extract, or Unzip, and then open the folder that you'll find inside. These five folders are the ones that you'll actually want to copy into your Develop Presets folder. So you can select them all by clicking on the first one, holding down Shift, and clicking on the last one. And then you can click and drag or right click and select Copy to get all of those into your Develop Presets window. Now, if you're upgrading from a prior version of MCP presets, you're going to see lots of folders here inside your Develop Presets window. The folders that end in PV12 are the most recent versions of the presets. Those are the ones that are compatible with Lightroom 4. If they end in JPEG or RAW, that's how you'll know that they are the older versions. If you want to keep your presets panel clean and you don't plan on using a prior version of Lightroom again, you can delete these older ones. I do recommend that you keep a backup copy of them somewhere just in case you ever decide that you want to use Lightroom 2 or 3 again. There is no problem with leaving all of them in your develop panel either. That way, no matter whether you open Lightroom 4 or a prior version, you'll have access to all of your presets. Once you've installed them, you can close your Finder or Explorer windows and restart Lightroom. After reopening Lightroom, you can go to your Develop panel, look for your presets, and you'll see the new ones here. Now you can see that I still have my old versions installed as well as my new ones. The good thing about the new presets for Lightroom 4 is that you do not need separate versions for RAW and JPEG. So whereas in our presets for Lightroom 2 and 3, you had separate folders for RAW and for JPEG, now there's only one set of folders. They end in PV12 and they all begin with four numbers, so 0001 through 0005. Now let's talk about how to use MCP's Mini Quick Clicks for Lightroom. 
We're going to start by editing this photo from Amanda Joy of Sparrow Memories Photography. The white balance and exposure both look great on this photo. So after I open the folder for MCP's Mini Quick Clicks preset for process version 12 again, I can skip over the white balance and exposure fixes and go straight down here to the looks. I'm just going to go through each one of them to see which one I like best. So there's true colors, flying colors, light bright colors, remember when, which is kind of a vintage look, ice cream shop, a black and white, and then root beer float is a toned black and white. If I wanted to undo all the edits I've made to this photo, I could click on Reset All. If I wanted to undo the look only without resetting white balance or exposure, I could click right here on Reset Look. If I'm happy with my edit of this photo, I can now go on to the next one. It's not necessary to save your photos in Lightroom. Next, I'm going to go to this image. Now note the exclamation point down here. If you previously edited this photo in a prior version of Lightroom, this exclamation point indicates that the process version of your photo is out of date. In order to change it to the most current version, you can simply pull down the menu here and select 2012, or you can apply some of our presets. For instance, if I were to select True Colors, you can see that the exclamation point goes away and the process version has been updated to the current version. Now I'm going to reset the look on this photo because I think that the white balance is just a little bit cool, so I do want to correct that before I go on to editing it. I'm going to add the sunny day white balance to warm it up, and then I'm going to start trying out the various presets. Now this one is much too intense for me. Not every preset is going to work on every photo, so I'm just going to click right onto the next one, flying colors. Light bright colors I like a lot. Remember when ice cream shop and root beer float. So you can see how easy it is just to click from preset to preset. Note that as you are looking at the various presets, up here in the navigator window, you also get a preview. So sometimes it's not even necessary to click on the preset itself. You can just keep an eye on the navigator and when you think you're close to the look you're going for, then you can click on that preset. Say that I'm not sure which version of the photo I like the best. I can use the snapshot feature here to compare. So I think I like light bright colors and I think I like remember when, but I'm not sure which one I like the best. I'm going to click on this plus sign and I'm going to call this light bright. And then I'm going to apply remember when and I'm going to add another preset. And now I can click back and forth between the two. This is especially helpful when you've applied a preset and then customized it over here by customizing some of the settings like white balance or any of the other settings really to really perfectly suit your photo. Finally, I'm going to start with this photo. The first thing I notice is that it's a bit underexposed. So hovering over the exposure fixes over here, I think that I like the look of the adding one stop up here in the navigator the best. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to play with some of the looks down here. So there's true colors, flying colors, light bright colors. I like that, but I'm thinking now maybe it's a bit too warm. And I know that clicking on the fluorescent white balance will cool it down. So I'm going to select that. And then I think, okay, that's a move in the right direction, but it's a bit too cool. 
So I'm going to customize the white balance over here just by moving the temperature slider a small bit to the right to warm it up. So right now I think that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and create a snapshot, calling this one color, and then I'm going to try for fun the ice cream shot black and white. I like that as well so I can create a new snapshot and now I can easily customize and compare my two versions of the edit. The good thing to know is that these three sections are all stackable so that you don't have to apply them in any certain order. You can start with white balance and exposure, add a look, and then go back and fine tune these if you need to, either by clicking on the preset or by using the sliders over here. So if you like these mini quick clicks for Lightroom, you'll definitely like our full quick clicks collection. You can purchase that on our website, mcpactions.com. The quick clicks collection will give you over 240 presets for any shooting situation. Thanks so much for watching the video.